Like dinner tomorrow night. Nothing fancy, just a place I know down the street. Do you mean it? Am I gonna walk out of here and never hear from you again? No. I don't think either one of us is gonna get off that easy. <laughs> oh, what a smooth operator, of course. Grand show in the role of Jake Hansen in the mid-90s Fox hit Merrill's Place. And although many people know him from that 90210 spin-off, he's actually played a lot of cool cats. Awesome names like Tom Decker and Jug Twitty, Archer <laughs> Montgomery, and Agent Viggo McQuaid. I love wow. it. Well, his role this weekend here in town, a bit more mysterious, that of everyone's favorite bloodsucker, Dracula, in the Columbia City Ballet October Tradition Grant Show. Hi, you How look... How you doing? Dude, you still got the hair. I'm working on it. You still got the hair. I mean, yeah. It's a little lighter now, but, you know, but... Lighter. Short of that. Short of that. <laughs> <laughs> so you're on... Who on, was Vigo McQuaid? I have I no know, idea man. who he's, that was. He's on your, on your IMDb somewhere. Name. I should remember I, that. You'd think so. I mean, I don't uh, know. You were, let's see, you were Vigo McQuaid... He's got a long way. If you're curious, what, what have you been doing, by the way, in the last few years? CSI Crime Scene Investigation, okay, 2011. You yeah. You were, how do you not know you were Vigo McQuaid? Know. I don't There's all kinds of things I don't remember. I mean, that's, that's a great two episodes, in fact, Vigo McQuaid. And then it burned up in the third. I was actually in the third, but just burned up. You played that body. You know, that was actually a lot of people got their start on, like, Law & Order that way. They were, like, the dead body. Dead person? Yeah, dead that's body. how I'm ending my career. The dead guy on CSI. <laughs> So it was like, man, you're like a big heartthrob. You're like Kirk Cameron level back in the, in the 90s. You know what I mean? <laughs> is, is that a compliment? I mean, I think so. I, you know? <laughs> Dude, you got to kiss Jeannie Garth. I mean, yeah. come on. Yeah. Life okay. must have been pretty good out there in Melrose Place. I had a good time. I really did. Right. So you went you from 92 to 97 mm -hmm. on Melrose. What happened after that? You, you know, continue, obviously continued to work. You were, you were yeah. IMDb, a stack full of, of great characters. Yeah, place. I had kind of had enough of Melrose Place after that. That was five years of that job. Um, did you leave before the end of the show? Yeah. Or did you? Okay. yeah there was two more years after I was on, okay. after I left. Uh, and then I just kept... It must have been when it jumped the shark. I didn't pay attention to that. I think it jumped the shark maybe in season two. They, ju they just went right after it, didn't it's they? Harsh. I mean, you know, it's blowing harsh. up the building and... Uh, you know, I never got that after that. scalps off and, you know... <laughs> I, I, I never understood it. I was like, wow. Okay, it just, it just, let's just keep going. It was like, um, mm. I, what is that? Um, Days are Lives, Marlena. When she started floating, she got possessed, and it was my favorite soap opera. You don't have a clue what I'm talking about. Well, I watch soap operas. <laughs> anyway, back to you. So after Melrose, where do you go? Uh, I, what did I do? I went, I went to New York and did uh, WIT for six months. Mm -hmm. I stayed there for a couple of years um, and did, some, did quite a bit of theater, actually, mm -hmm. and then came back out to L.A. And, uh, man, I did like... See, series after series after series of 13 and out, 13 and out, 13 right. and out. Um, and now I'm doing a show for Lifetime, mm -hmm. uh, Devious Maids, and we got our second season. I think this one's going to be really good. Uh, the so show's great. Do, so good. what's Devious Maids? You kind of compared it to, it's like, like Desperate, Desperate Housewives? Mark, it's Mark Cherry who created mm -hmm. and wrote um, uh, Desperate Housewives. It's a, a very similar flavor as that show, but okay. it's about um, uh, maids in Beverly Hills. Oh, they, they can get a little bit uh, snarky, too, right? Um, it's it's fun. It's it's soapy, it's campy, it's right. funny, it's got drama. It's Spence funny. Westmore, really? Is that? Yeah. Spence yeah. Westmore. The names, the awesome names continue with Grant's <laughs> show. <laughs> but the, the fans are calling me Meester, Meester Spence, because that's what my maid calls me. Uh, she's, Meester. she's Latin. Oh, so you have your own maid in the show. Yeah. All right. Yeah, take, and it I, takes and place I, in California? In Beverly Hills. Okay. Yeah, I right. play a soap opera actor on You're a soap not really opera. far off the reservation, are <laughs> you? No, it's far? like really, it's like really they picked me. Right? Wow. Weren't you like on the guiding light or some, you're Ryan's uh, Hope. Ryan's Hope was That's my what first job. Yeah. 29 years ago? Shh, we don't, shh, we don't talk about it. So you were oh four. You were four God. when that came out. And I get yeah. it. I get it. Yeah. So you've done, you know, obviously a lot of stage work, a lot of TV. Do you have a preference? Some people like the stage better, but they understand you can, you know, bread and butter is TV. Yeah, you make a lot more money on television. You don't yeah. make any money in theater. <clears throat> um, but there's, there's different things. Like in theater, you get to do it over and over and over and over again after, like, after your 30th uh, performance, you'll discover something new. After your 70th performance, right. you'll discover something new. Television, you get to kind of develop the character over years so mm -hmm. they're they're both i like both of them but for different reasons right right That's good. You know, we, we showed a clip earlier of um of joey tribbiani um and matthew LeBanc, and i was like gosh it's been so long you know over the years you get to develop those characters and you yeah. saw that same thing on melrose you saw that your character develop through those you that know, one six didn't years that so. one didn't develop so much well no i mean you've got to kiss a lot of pretty girls I mean, yeah pretty saying, much it's all be good of to them be a grand show <laughs> 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 no, I did. I, by the time we finished my five years, was that in your contract? I was going for round two. I'd gone through every girl on the show, and they had to start over again with Allison. 
Oh yes, uh, she's she only won two and a half men now. Gosh, you, you guys have all is she done on that. two and a half men. No, yeah. no, that's. Uh, yeah. Oh, she on two and a half men? She Good is. for her. That girl never stops yeah. working. She no, never stopped working from the day from Melrose Place, and then she went to Ellie McBeal, and right. then she went to uh, she, I Jim. Oh, yeah, according to Jim. According to Jim. Yep, that's right. And now that's she's right. on two and a half, half men. Good for she's her. Been there several seasons. She's great. She's well, terrific. you actually are trotting the boards again here in town. We're going to talk about that here in just a few minutes. You're, uh, are they making you wear like any like really tight yeah. ballet? Okay. Mm -hmm. Grant Show tight ballet outfit. Well, may, he may have it under at, the suit. At 51. At 51, there you go. Is it under the suit? Janet, what do you think? Oh, my God. Guys, stick around. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to come back with Grant Show, and William Starr is going to join us as well. But first, we'll check weather with meteorologist Garrett Beatball. Stay with us. <laughs> Hi, I'm Angie. Ah, uh, yes, the annual tradition, Dracula, Ballet with a Bite. It is October. It is time once again to check out the Columbia City Ballet production at the Koger Center. <laughs> Great stuff. And uh, joining me this morning, continuing on with Grant's show. Hey. Welcome back, my friend. You're Dracula. William Starrett, the producer and, uh, Good morning. and operator of the Columbia City Ballet. <laughs> sure enough, sure enough. Welcome both uh, you gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. So, Dracula, Thank I had no idea you could do ballet. Can you even do a plié? No. <laughs> well, I don't see why you wouldn't be cast in a ballet then. That, that's, that's what I thought when he asked me to do it. I'm like, no. I, <laughs> but my wife uh, was a ballerina for 10 years. Mm. They knew each other, um, right. know each other. They're good friends. Um, and William assured me that he wouldn't ask me to do anything that I wasn't able to, I wasn't able to do because I don't dance at all. Sure. I mean, I don't, dan I don't dance. Yeah, that's it. I am, I, I, in my movement class uh, in, in uh, at uh, theater school. Right. My teacher called me the lorry driver, the truck driver, because <laughs> I'm pretty clumped, klutzy. Uh, you can at least do like the Stairway to Heaven, like 1985 slow dance at the end of the prom. Oh, right? this I mean, kind of like yeah. All right, Disco? okay, let's do yeah, <laughs> right. See, we don't ever want to see that again. <laughs> <laughs> don't listen to him. He's doing an incredible job. Well, William, I, so I understand. Actually, this kind of goes back to one of the original performances. You've yes. you put this on for so many well, years. When I created it about 20 years ago. It was done right. for Ron Hale, who um, was the star of General Hospital for mm -hmm. 16 years. And coincidentally, coincidentally I w he was doing Ryan's Hope at the time, and that was my first job. He was I was working oh, with wow. him when he came and did. I didn't know it. I no didn't know. He, I don't That's remember him doing it, but yeah. That's and originally, Tal, I thought it would be weird that Count Dracula is so ominous and all knowing, mm. and you don't want him like hopping around and doing pirouettes or anything. You know, he, he kind of needs <laughs> kinda to be. It takes away the, the magic. Doesn't it, it does. It doesn't really work, and I couldn't really put my head around it while I was creating the production. And since mm. then, we've had some dancers who move you know, a lot more, but I, I can't calm them down enough. I can't get them to, you know, they all want to dance and jump. Right. And so it really fits my, my vision of it better when it's, <laughs> it's really viewed from an actor's point of view. Right. And what's interesting is <laughs> all the- There's no worry about me <laughs> wanting to dance and jump. <laughs> are you in the tight stretch pants at least? Uh, they do have, yeah. The, Janet, the you're okay are, then. Yeah. The clothes are a little- well, yeah, that, but <laughs> we recostumed everything, so it's more current. You know, when I started the production, sure. it was all about Bela Lugosi and the mm -hmm. vampire we knew then. But now with Rob Pattinson and, and Taylor Lautner, and right. it's all different in Vampire Diaries. And so it's more like today dress, and it's more sort of goth instead of whatever it was. Right, then. the old school kind of yeah. medieval. Yeah, so okay. it, it's really evolved. There's still capes, though. Right. Well, no, I love involved. cape. You know what? I would wear a cape today if it were socially acceptable. I'd go to Walmart on a Sunday morning and shop in a cape. I love them. <laughs> I'll never do that dance move again. Don't ever say that again. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Done deal, Grant Show. Done deal. <laughs> so uh, you're sure you've already opened on the, uh, you're doing some satellite shows. We did uh, Savannah. Right. And Hilton Head. You haven't fallen off the stage yet, have you, Grant? No. Okay, you're still good. Yet. All right, yet. No, it's all good. Yet the key word. Although, I, the, tripping on the cape, I have done that. <laughs> I'm telling you, I am not the most graceful person in the world. So There's reason number it, seven to come check is, out Dracula. That, it's, it's worth going to see just to see if I make just it through. Just in case. Yeah. Just in case. <laughs> Dracula opens on Thursday. Coger Center, you've got performances Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yes, and every student with a student ID on Thursday, mm -hmm. only $10. A $35 oh, awesome. ticket for $10. Yep. Saturday night's the costume contest. Right. Friday's always an incredibly big show. We encourage everyone to come in costume. And, sure. Um, there are a lot of good tickets still available, but we do often sell out. So go ahead and get your tickets. And I'll tell you this, y'all. I mean, if, even if you're not like necessarily a, a ballet aficionado, this I saw it last year. It's just really cool. I mean, yes, yeah. there's some dancers thing, but the story translates, and it, it's so well done, so well produced. Thank you. Um, it's it's a big show. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, if you've never seen ballet, like I have right. not, I'm, 
I've, I've seen one ballet. I've not performed in more ballets than I've seen. But if you've never <laughs> seen a ballet, this is the one to come and see. It's, it's, the music is great. Right. It's not all this frilly kind of dancing. It's kind of sexy. Mm -hmm. It's a great show. Awesome. So there you go. I mean, Grant Show knows about shows. I mean, heck, it's in his name, right? <laughs> all right. So the details, by the way, at watch.com for you on the show. You want to check it out. It's Thursday here at the Koger Center. Before you go, Grant mm -hmm. Show, we got to play a little game called the Cheese Quiz. <laughs> the Cheese Quiz. You know what this is, y'all. All right, Grant, here's how the Cheese Quiz is played. You're going to have 15 seconds to name as many cheeses as you can. As many cheeses as you can in 15 seconds, Grant Show. Do you understand the rules? Okay, sure. good enough. The Cheese Quiz begins now. Roquefort. <laughs> <laughs> can I help? You, um, you're going to have to because you got about five Cheddar. seconds left. Go, go, go to um, Swiss. Um, Danny uh, Bonaducci. Cheesy. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Asiago. That's, that's it. Asiago, you one more. All right, you've got about 20 <laughs> seconds into this thing, about six and a half, but I'll give you two for Danny Bonaducci being cheesy. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you get you get two actually. Producer says you get two for the first one as well. Thank so you. you're right. <laughs> it's so amazing good. how your so brain you. freezes when you're. <laughs> what now? I don't tell you in advance. Hey, real quick, if you want to go see uh, Dracula, you can. If you want to tweet us now, remember we talked about five or six minutes ago. He played in a 1990s uh, show here in Fox. It was a huge hit. He was a big sex kitten, if you will. Uh, kitten. I guess. Six, <laughs> Panther. Six, cat. I was Panther. Panther. <laughs> All you got to do is you tweet the name. If you know both names, that's cool. But at least the first name of Grant Show's character on the show in the mid-90s. He played right here on Fox. Uh, you're going to tweet that and We're going to pick it at random. But tweet at Watch Fox right now. Hey, the character he played, Grant Show played in the 90s here on Fox. And we'll get up with a pair of tickets to go check out Dracula. This is, uh, and i got to say it right, it's not a ballet that sucks. It's a ballet with a bite. With a bite. <laughs> Check it out. Gentlemen, thank you so much for coming hey, in this morning. I really Thanks, appreciate it. Grant, Cheers. good to see you. Great to see William, you. as always. Guys, we got a lot more Good Day Columbia on the way. Do not move. We're talking fashion, by the way. And William, you got to stick around because I think, Janet, you can put your head down. Oh, that would be fun. All right.